This was one year of pre-production, followed by one year of post-production, and right in the middle of that was three really cold days shooting out on the street with a lot of really talented people. When Batman 89 came out, it blew my mind. It was just something so different from everything that was around. It was the single biggest event in my life. When Batman came out, when I had the opportunity to write my own fan film that was set in the universe of Tim Burton, uh, I jumped at it. My buddy Guillermo decided to buy himself a Batman costume. As soon as I saw it, I thought, I've got to get a photo shoot. That doesn't look like a photo shoot in a garage. That looks like a still out of a movie. I think that's pretty much where the wheels started turning for what would soon become all of this. The wheels were turning about how we could turn this still photo into an actual motion picture. I wanted to be able to tie back to Batman 89 and try to be as faithful and honest to that movie as we could on an independent film budget, which is not an easy thing to do. We don't have Pinewood Studios. We had a, a real world downtown city street. Petersburg, Virginia, the time of year we were there was pretty chilly during the nighttime. All exteriors, but everything was out on location in the streets. Three nights all night long, all-nighters, if you will. There was a very short amount of time, really, if you think about it. I think I aged about 10 years and about three days. The last night of shooting, it was cold. It was freaking cold. And the third night, I was outside like... I'm making sure nobody's got hypothermia. A full-blown downpour. Cast, crew, everybody just scrambled to get the equipment uh, inside. I'm thinking a cigarette, but do you know how many takes you gotta do? and then you have to start a whole new cigarette. I was there to see Oz take one in the face in real time, that was great. He took it like a champ though. He wasn't the one that broke character. Actually, oh, I got him, sorry. Cut. By the end of it, we were all a little bit tired, but you know, that's that's to be expected on, on films like this, especially when you're out of town and you've got a limited time to get your shots in. Seeing some of the playbacks of what we had just created and the impact, wow, that that is awesome. The amount of work that went in with with John and the crew, uh, the actors. There's a lot of talent that went into this movie. Look at the painting that Joe Gransky put together. Look at the score that's being worked on by the composers. That's one of my favorite things about filmmaking is it's not just one art, it's multiple art forms all coming together. Making a movie is a team effort. It's something that you always hear and people always say, and I don't want to sound cliche, but it really is. Look at you know what the actors brought to the table, the crew, all the permits, working with the city, all the logistics. The favorite parts were just watching the whole cinematography and watching to come together. I got a great appreciation for how much work just setting up a shot takes. The, the fog, the wind, the lighting, the green lighting, blue lighting. I really enjoyed seeing how all the challenges were overcome. When you're working a film like this, everybody has to step up and, and that's just how it goes with indie films and when you want to make a movie right. I think we're all partially insane for putting this many hours and this much work into a 17 minute YouTube video. I have a new appreciation for how much work and how much team effort it goes into just getting something out there so that all of you can see it. And I really hope you all enjoy it. I feel like we kept to the character of the 89 film and I'm so glad I got to be a part of it. Thank you to our crew. Thank you to our cast, to everyone who has dumped their particular heart and soul into this movie. Everybody who backed this project on Indiegogo Thank you. Your name is in the credits. Hopefully we spelled it right.